Hi there. I have got one of the coolest pictures I have seen in a long time to share with you. Um, what you are looking at here is a picture taken from stereo. And stereo is this piece of information right here. Stereo is a spacecraft. This is the stereo behind. There's also a stereo ahead. And they are orbiting the sun just in the same orbit that the Earth is. One of them is orbiting ahead of the Earth, and one is orbiting behind the Earth. And they are able to take three-dimensional pictures of the sun. We can see literally all parts of the sun. Well, Stereo B was taking a picture and captured the Earth. It captured comet, pan stars, and what's kind of interesting in this picture also is that it just recently captured a big coronal mass ejection that is coming off of the Sun. So let's talk a little bit about comet pan stars. What do I see in this picture? I look at the dust trail. I mean look at this area down here. Uh, this feathering of the dust tail is is pretty exquisite. Exquisite. There, I could say that word. Um, and it's not necessarily seen in all comets. Uh, the last one that I remember seeing this one was Comet McNaught back, oh gosh, 2007. Do you see the, the denseness of the tail here? And then as it gets farther away, this is being drawn off in um, kind of plumes. And this, again, would be evidence of the solar wind uh, that's coming off of the sun. And another big piece of solar wind here is this coronal mass ejection. This is literally the Sun blowing off maybe an Earth-sized chunk of matter. Um, this would be uh, plasma and it is moving out into the solar system and if the Earth were in line with this coronal mass ejection what you would get is probably in all likelihood a rather spectacular aurora. Um, and that possibly would say it would set up a, a solar storm in our upper atmosphere. So, there you go. That's it.